Have you heard of the ultimate form of ice? This is not even my final form. Ice, the solid form of water, can exist in various phases, each with distinct crystal structures and properties. The phases of ice are denoted by Roman numerals, and they are based on the temperature and pressure conditions under which they form. Ice 1 is the most common phase of ice, with a hexagonal crystal structure, forming at atmospheric pressure and temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, less dense than liquid water, causing it to float. Ice 2 forms at pressures above 200 megapascals and temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, has a rhombohedral crystal structure, is denser than Ice 1, and is primarily created in laboratories under high pressure conditions. Ice 3 forms at pressures around 300 megapascals and temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, has a tetragonal crystal structure, and is denser than Ice 1 and Ice 2, rarely occurring in nature. Ice 4 forms at pressures above 600 megapascals and below 0 degrees Celsius, with a cubic crystal structure, higher density than previous ice phases, and observed in natural environments like icy moons and planets' interiors. Ice 5 forms at pressures above 1.1 GPA, and below 0 degrees Celsius, with a monoclinic crystal structure, higher density than Ice 4 and is also referred to as monoclinic ice. Ice 6 forms at pressures above 1.5 GPA and below 0 degrees Celsius, with a tetragonal crystal structure, higher density than Ice 5, and has been discovered within the interiors of icy moons like Enceladus and Europa. Ice 7 forms at pressures above 2.2 GPA and below 0 degrees Celsius, with a cubic crystal structure, higher density than previous ice phases, and is known as superionic ice, due to its distinctive ionic conductivity properties at high pressures. Ice 8 and beyond. Under even higher pressures, additional phases of ice can form, such as Ice 8, Ice 9, and so on. These high-pressure ice phases have exotic crystal structures and properties, and are of interest in materials science and planetary research. More often than not, nature is far stranger and more amazing than our wildest imaginations.